cozy couch potatoes. Hello and welcome, my cozy couch potatoes. This is Spice Rack Studios, the cozy couch. We are reading Goosebumps Say Cheese and Die, chapter 21. Let's dive in. Hey bird, it's me. Greg held the receiver in one hand and wiped the sweat off his forehead with the other. He'd never worked so hard or so fast in all his life. Did they find Sherry, Bird asked eagerly. I haven't heard. I don't think so, Greg said, his eyes surveying his room, almost back to normal. He had put everything back, cleaned and straightened. His parents would never guess. Listen, Bird, I'm not calling about that, Greg said, speaking rapidly into the phone. Call Michael for me, okay? Meet me at the playground, by the baseball diamond. When? Now? Bird asked, sounding confused. Yeah, Greg told him. We have to meet. It's important. It's almost dinner time, Bird protested. I don't know if my parents... It's important, Greg repeated impatiently. I've got to see you guys, okay? Well, maybe I can sneak out for a few minutes, Bird said, lowering his voice. And then Greg heard him shout to his mother, It's no one, Ma! I'm talking to no one! Boy, that... Boy, that's quick thinking, Greg thought, sarcastically. He's a worse liar than I am. And then he heard Bird call to his mom. I know I'm on the phone, but I'm not talking to anyone. It's only Greg. Thanks a lot, pal, Greg thought. I gotta go, Bird said. Get Michael, okay? Greg urged. Yeah, okay, see you, he hung up. Greg replaced the receiver, then listened for his mother. Silence downstairs. She was, she still wasn't home. She didn't know about Sherry, Greg realized. He knew she and his dad were going to be very upset. Very upset. Almost as upset as he was, thinking about his missing friend. He went to his bedroom window and looked down on her yard next door. It was deserted now. The policemen had all left. Sherry's shaken parents must have gone inside. A squirrel sat under the wide shade of the big tree, gnawing furiously at an acorn, another acorn at his feet. In the corner of the window, Greg could see the birthday cake, still sitting forlornly on the deserted table. The place is all set, the, de the, de the decorations still standing. A birthday party for ghosts. Greg shuddered. Cherry is alive, he said aloud. They'll find her. She is alive. She's alive. He knew what he had to do now. Forcing himself away from the window, he hurried to meet his friend, to meet his two friends. All right, my cozy couch potatoes, that is it for chapter 21. I will see you tomorrow for chapter 22. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're into more adult-type books, check out my Patreon. Bye.